Evaluate limit as x approaches infinity of natural log of x quantity cubed divided by x squared. Okay, so this can be L'Hopital's rule because you can see when you plug in infinity, you're going to get a natural log of infinity, which is infinity, over x squared, which is infinity. Uh, you could say infinity squared, but no, you're not really supposed to say that at all. Infinity is just infinity. You don't get bigger than infinity, though some infinities are bigger than others. Okay, okay. So to determine which infinity is bigger than the other, we're going to have to use L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule is when you have an indeterminate form, you take the derivative of the top, take the derivative of the bottom, and that will then you take it to the same limit as before, and that will give you an answer. So we're going to have to take the limit of uh, natural log of x cubed. So to do that, we will do uh, start with the, we'll do the chain rule. So it'll be three natural log of x quantity squared times the derivative of natural log of x, which is one over x. Divide that by uh, derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Rewrite this slightly. We have 3 halves times natural log of x quantity squared all over x squared, because we took this, move that down. And now when we plug in infinity, we still get, hmm, okay. So now we still have natural log of infinity squared over infinity squared, which doesn't really help us out. But the natural log got a little bit smaller. So let's just do L'Hopital's rule again. So we have three halves, which will now be six halves times natural log of x times the derivative interior, which will be one over x, uh, times two x again, which will then give us six fourths, hmm, interesting, times natural log of x over x squared. Okay, again, we're gonna take the limit as x approaches infinity. This is no good because we get natural log of infinity over infinity squared again. And I'm gonna rewrite this as three halves. Nope, I wanted blue, blue. All right, so then another arrow show that we're going to do L'Hopital's rule again. And we'll have 3 halves times derivative natural log of x is 1 over x. 2x gives us 3 fourths times 1 over x squared. We'll kind of limit as x approaches infinity. And we would get something along the lines of 3 fourths times 1 over infinity. You're not supposed to write that, but I just did, and that's okay. Which would give us 0. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Exciting. Hmm. Surprisingly exciting. Okay. So, we're trying to evaluate here natural log. Hope, hope, hope. What we got here? Yep. So what happened here is, and I'll circle the answer that we found, was we we had the um, indeterminate form. In this case, our indeterminate form was infinity over infinity. And so we're like, all right, we'll take Dulo Patel's rule, take the derivative of both sides, top and bottom. We did that, and we still got another in, indeterminate form. But the power to our natural log of x kept going down. And we're like, well, if it keeps going down, Maybe it'll eventually disappear. And turns out, aha, that was the case. And eventually we got our natural log of x disappeared into 1 over x, which basically helped preserve that x squared in the bottom. Eventually we got to the case of we took um, 3 fourths 1 over x squared, natural log, uh, not natural log, limit as x approaches infinity of such, and that gave us 0. So that's how you would approach this problem. Um, basically, you have to keep reiterating your L'Hopital's rule. But it wasn't that bad, and we succeeded, and we won, and the day was saved. Thank you. See you on the next problem.